Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about events and not going to talk about all events for the arc but we're going to be talking about events that you need to plan for because there are some pesky events that you might have already done your particular grind in that area for the day and then an event pops at event reset. What I'm trying to do with this new event series is prevent you from making the mistake of claiming your syndicate XP and then a syndicate XP event dropping for example. A Q's trial event pops up afterwards. So we're going to try and help you avoid those simple mistakes by giving you a very simple very very crude planning tool for the month so that you know you can share it with your alliances share it with your teams please get them to watch the video so that they obviously understand exactly what is going on in relation to events this month so let's dive straight in so as you can see, all of these events that I have populated onto this very crude calendar for August of 2023 in Star Trek Fleet Command, this is not every single event. These are just events that I think that you need to plan for. And we will leave a copy of this in our Discord. So if anybody wants to get to be able to share with your team so that you know what's coming in terms of stuff to plan for, then you can grab that. A link to our Discord will be in the description down below. Now, what we have included in here is not things like hostile events. Obviously, hostiles, you're going to go out, you're going to see what you need to do and do those after reset however if it's a specific type of hostile which is gated or if you need to spend something or complete certain armadas i have included them within this graph now remember guys that calendars are subject to change keep your eyes on the official discord there is an event information page which you can reference and when things are updated when we get that info from live ops then we will update that channel um, which is done very very handily by the moderators so you can see if anything's changed but this is where we are at based on the calendar that was released to us in game on arc launch day a couple of days ago so let's talk about this so first one we'll talk about is forbidden tech so forbidden tech upgrades and, sp and spending upgrade materials if you do are lucky enough to have enough um, proto matter and tear up catalysts etc to be able to complete or even attempt forbidden tech upgrades you should not be doing those unless it is on the 8th or the 9th and then we see we have that event again on the 16th and 17th so obviously when I'm time of recording watching this it is the 10th so obviously if you've missed that first run of the event do not attempt any forbidden tech upgrades until at least the 16th so that you are getting paid for attempting to complete your upgrades on forbidden tech Q's hostiles, we have a fair few of these throughout the arc, so please do not. Now, remember, you are gated by bells for these. You can only get 80 bells per day, so make sure that you are timing your redeems in order to get your bells to be able to attempt your Q's trial hostiles, but you should not be doing them, again, on the 8th and 9th, which is already run. But then next week, starting on Tuesday, we have Tuesday, Wednesday, we have Thursday, and Saturday. We have four days where Q's hostiles are going to form parts of events. Now, this first one here is a three day sms so be very very mindful of that that you will probably have three days to complete it but then saturday the 19th sort of sneaks out at us as another one where we need to make sure that until after event reset that you do not attempt to try these hostiles save them for after event reset so that you have a chance of completing it because you only have 24 hours to do with that on queues hostiles spending artifact tokens so when you are doing your formation armadas uh, they have timed this quite well so we have formation armadas and artifact tokens for Formation Armada's Artifact Tokens uh, running on the 10th and the 11th and the 17th and then the 18th and then the 24th and the 25th of the month as well. Remember guys, these are all UK and obviously it will tie into US times as well. If you are on the APAC servers, your days and dates may be slightly different because of time zones, but obviously you'll be aware of keeping that up to date for now. So do not upgrade any of your artifacts or even unlock any artifacts. Even if you have the shards, don't do that outside of these three events this month. You've got three opportunities to do this on the Thursdays and Fridays of each um, week moving forward. Also, because we're talking about saving materials, it could be worth if your redemption in your artifact gallery, if it is due for pulling, may be worth saving that for when after event reset happens so that you get the additional shards, etc., to be able to contribute towards that event. So remember, do not pull this as part of your daily routine. If it's outside of event reset, save these for once the event starts for those particular days. 
We have three spend events, three spend events for seven of nine, and they are running Saturdays and Sundays. So starting at Saturday event reset. So do not, guys, do not spend any uncommon or above materials of any grade, G3, G4, or G5 outside of these material spend events. We are going to have both SMSs and SLBs for these events, and they are going to be relatively high milestones. So don't even scrape it. Oh, it's only 400, it's only 300 here. I really want to do it. Save them. You have got three opportunities to spend spend as many materials as you want over the weekends during the August arc. Fantastic that we've got three SMSs again confirmed and obviously three SLBs to accompany that. And if you are good and you are diligent in your spend and obviously you have the materials banked up. And the other thing to be really aware of is because it is an event store month, the supply of resources and materials will be much, much lower because the focus on all events is going to be paying out in event store loot. So we keep that, bear that in mind. What you've got now is basically what you're going to get what you've got now is basically what you're going to get for the month so make sure that you are pacing yourself um, to be able to do as many of the sms events over the next three weeks as you can because that's where the big bulk of your shards are going to be Moving into the week after, anything that we've got that is new, starting on Tuesday the 15th, we have our Fleet Commander event coming back. Now, I know Andy, Andy, which is our only member of the channel, because we do, we do um, now have memberships on the YouTube channel. If anybody would like to join, become a member and support the channel monthly, you are now able to do that. Um, Andy, who is our first and only Chief Nutter, um, who is our fantastic first ever member of the channel, he has been dying for a fleet commander event where you can actually start upgrading your skills, upgrading your traits, upgrading your fleet commanders and getting those skills and that building worked on. So this is going to be running from the 15th to the 18th. And this fleet commander event is a fantastic welcome addition. We haven't had it for a couple of months. I know I can go quite hard on that event because I've been saving everything in relation to fleet commanders waiting for this event to come back. Something maybe everybody should be doing moving forward. Um, but obviously, if not, definitely don't do anything between now and Tuesday. The 15th in relation to your fleet commanders including your fleet commander building don't do that either because that will score points we have again we have power gained and ship xp spend event a one day event on wednesday the 16th ship ship xp when it is a metric this is normally the mainstay of this event but power gain will include research it will include defense platforms buildings but the mainstay for these type of events generally is ship XP, which then comes down to who has the most latinum and the ships that actually have the levels available to be plowed into them. So if you are auto grinding, but you do have a big lot of latinum, maybe knock auto grinding on the head for a few days and spend some of your latinum to get your levels put on your ships on Wednesday the 16th to try and pick up some additional rewards. Maybe a little tactic that you've got there, definitely worth considering. Artifact tokens, fleet commanders again, obviously when we move forward and for Formation Armadas, Q's Hostiles, we've already covered. Other events to consider is we move into the third week. We obviously have Jelly Pursuit. Jelly Pursuit is another material spend event for people without the ISS Jellyfish. I'm going to be honest with you. I do not think Jelly Pursuit is something that people should be going hard for. I think you'll be far better working towards getting the Epic Officer this month in Seven of Nine and pretty much ignoring the Jelly Pursuit and spending your materials on a weekend when you've got an SMS which can nigh on guarantee you actually getting something. There's nothing worse. It happened to me a couple of times back when I was Ops 39 where you plow a load of materials into Jelly Pursuit, you get sniped in the last minute and you get nothing to show for your spend. At least with the SMSs on the weekends, you are going to be able to get something for your spend moving forward. There is an Ultra Spend Event, Ultra Token Spend Event, and this is running towards the end of the arc. So from Tuesday the 22nd up to Friday the 25th, there is going to be a leaderboard for spending Ultra Tokens. So don't spend any, don't open any of your Ultra Recruit Tokens until at least Tuesday the 22nd. And Tuesday the 22nd, is a potential double whammy for you because if my maths is correct that is when we should get the daily mini event so the daily mini event that pops with like your research and your station events and your officer recruit events that is when we should get the slb for recruits so maybe try and go hard early on on that first day to actually participate in two events and get a double whammy for that as well everything else we have already covered but i've put three honorable mentions at the bottom here the missions event that you need to do you've got the 
whole arc to complete this but i would try and get them done as soon as possible we are aware of the silver star issue so silver star was an issue that was corrected eight to ten days ago uh, where there is a mission which requires you to complete the mission to unlock a path but you can't get to the final part of it because the warp path is locked this the team is aware of this and a fix is being rolled out um, and worked on as we speak it has been fixed in the like I said, in the last couple of weeks so hopefully this will be done very very quickly syndicate events as per the norm on this event has not been getting put in the calendar so syndicate events tend to roll out at least once to twice during the acts so let's be very careful of this and remember do not pull your syndicate xp until after event reset each day so time your syndicate xp even if it puts everything else out of whack you should not be pulling your syndicate xp until after event reset try and pull it between event reset and two hours after and that will allow you to be able to pull your um redeems forward over the couple of days that the syndicate event runs and allow you to reach at least the first milestone potentially the second milestone and this doesn't just go for the daily redeem of syndicate um so when i'm talking about that i mean up, up here this obviously also includes using the mantis refinery as well so your mantis refinery do not pull this until after event reset um to make sure to check when the syndicate event actually comes third one there is a spend loot event running every day of the arc so every day of the arc so started on the first day on tuesday and there are going to be three runs where you need to place in the top 25 on one of those leaderboards in order for you to be able to be in a chance of getting into the final week's worth of leaderboards for some additional rewards so you must finish in the top 25 the event i'm talking about specifically here is the one for, is this one the item emporium so there will be part one running for the next three days and four hours at the time of recording then a second slb will start part two a third slb will start once that one finishes and if you need to finish in the top 25 of one of those three leaderboards it's to be entered into the fourth week event so we have quite a it seems like quite a quiet calendar if i'm honest and remember this isn't every event these are just events that you need to plan for and think about prior to um doing certain loops like q trials like spending materials and um, redeeming your artifact tokens upgrading your fleet commanders i've just tried to give you a bit of a heads up of when and where you can spend your stuff this arc and when you can do it to give you the most rewards thank you so much for watching this is a new idea a new concept let me know down in the comments if you think this is a good idea something that you think we should do every month moving forward so that everybody is aware of what events are coming up that you need to plan for thank you so much for the support that everybody is showing me as i mentioned previously in the video we now do have a member section if anybody would like to support the channel monthly you are able to do that obviously please subscribe to the video like the video leave a comment down below as well you won't believe how much that helps the analytics let me know what your thoughts are on the events this month and whether there's anything else or anything else that you think that i've missed that i should include in future runs thank you so much for watching and remember guys everything is better with lube take care guys have a wonderful day